You know, I think the biggest thing is just um, just trying to have like good recovery. Um, we kind of talked about it today after practice of just like being proactive with your recovery. So, you know, now because we have these like the 10 games coming up where we play every other day, um, you know, we're still, you know, everyone kind of has a plan for the recovery. Now, the, like you said, like we're not having to fly and travel. That helps quite a bit. Um, but it's kind of like you get both sides. Like we're not traveling, but now we're playing every other day, which we don't usually do. So a lot of it's just trying to keep your body, um, you know, feeling as good as possible and then making sure that you're really using those resources um, to, you know, stretch, roll, ice baths, all types of things, just to try to stay ahead of it a little bit. Um, you know, it, it's not ideal, but at the same time, you know, with the quarantine time before we came, I was at home way longer than what I usually am. So that was really nice. You know, I live at home with my parents and my grandparents are there as well. So I really get to see, you know, most of my family. Um, but, you know, with FaceTime and everything, like we're kind of used to doing that from like when I play overseas. So, you know, you wish you could be with your family, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's, it's not uncommon or unusual for us to like be away. Um, so we find ways to still stay in contact. For sure. Uh, yeah, my mom's uh, mac and cheese and greens. I wish I could have that right now. I'll just have to wait until I... Uh, I think the biggest thing is just, like, the uh, folks say. And I think, uh, well, I've never played with a team that had what I consider, like, a real, real vet, like Sue. You know, like, she. I think you can't get more of a vet than Sue. And so having her, I think it's, you know, it's it's such a like a positive like teaching environment you know every time it's always no, no matter what we're doing it's she'll either pull you to the side she'll give her opinion tell you what you could do better you know even yesterday we were doing treatment she was telling me you know with my shot it's a little flat and to like bend my knees and all like just different things that I think you don't get a lot of places um and you know always someone trying to help always being helpful keeping people on their like best and to try to make sure that you're, you know, doing anything possible to help the team. So I think that's kind of the culture. Everyone helps each other. Everyone holds each other accountable. And I think that's why Seattle has been really successful. Um, I mean, I personally haven't heard it as well as much, I guess. Um, but I, I agree with Jewel wholeheartedly. I think maybe it's just because we don't have necessarily like maybe that like super physical enforcer type of player but I don't think that equates to us being soft at all. You know, I think we're, the way we play is very, you know, it's fast paced, up and down. We can, everyone can spread the floor. We don't really have like a true five or real, real post players. Um, but I think that's what makes us special. And that's what makes us really, really good is that we can have five people out there that can go in any position and that can flow around and can switch on defense. So I think, it's not, I think it's just a different style, but I think it's, it's a really good style and I 100% prefer the way that we play. Yeah, um, for me, you know, I do, um, I do a lot of treatment for my knees. You know, that's always something like throughout my whole career that I've had to really focus on. And a lot of it is just like a lot of soft tissue work to keep the muscles really loose. Um, and like on those off days, like you said, you Rest, you know, to make sure you're, you know, getting that rest. But then, like, for me, you know, I don't play a lot of extended minutes. So I have to get in the weight room to make sure, you know, I'm staying strong. I'm really trying to make sure my legs are strong for my knees. Um, you know, you get your extra cardio. So it's kind of a balance. It's like when you don't play as much, you might do a little bit more on those off days. And then if you play a little more, then you kind of take it a little easier and you do more of the, like, you know, massage, that type of thing. So you just – I just try to find the balance for sure.